bash at the beach. Yes. When Hulk Hogan pinned Jeff Jarrett by Jeff just laying down. Okay, if I didn't know the story, they could have took that story. Of course, they couldn't take the story anywhere because everybody got pissed off, mad. But when I saw it, I went. It intrigued me because I thought, where in the hell is this going? Because it was that just different. And the reason it's different is because everybody was mad. Uh, but for, you know, and Hulk Hogan, he's the biggest egomaniac ever in the business, except for Ric Flair. But, but Hulk was always nice to me. I didn't have that much to do with him. See where these guys get to be idiom, uh, egomaniacs that most of us don't see is his opponents because they got to work with him, talk to him in private for, and that's when your egomania comes out. See, I never, I never had a match with, with uh, Hogan. Had a couple matches with Flair. And in in defense of Flair, anything I wanted to do in a match, yeah, except for the finish, you know, and I knew what the finish would have to be anyway. Uh, I, uh, I was actually booking Florida and had him go over without a DQ or anything. Just beat me. So we did that. And then I had another match with him in Lakeland, which we we did a little DQ on, which is, and I, I brought a bunch of other people in. But uh, the uh, the 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 thing about uh, Huck and Ric Flair, they're so eager. You like your hair? Yeah. So I was just I was just doing that. You carry on. Boy, that's... No one could see that. They could only see you. <laughs> Oh, oh! They didn't see you. No, it was just me doing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, folks, I was seeing all I saw. He was this. He's pushing back. It's like, all right, what's hey, what? Fonz. What were we talking about now? I got uh, uh, sidetracked two, by your hair. Yeah, two biggest egomaniacs, Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan. Oh yeah, and and they are. So when a guy gets sad, when he's egomaniac, he's very hard to deal with, and he's he can't see any of the faults within himself which I will throw right back in there too. And uh, here's another one. Here's another one. See, folks, this is how conversations go on the road. I get to talking and I'll jump somewhere else. Then I'll jump somewhere. Here's another egomaniac. And you just brought his name up about being an agent. Who would that be? Bret Hart. Oh, my God. You know, the best there is, the best there was. And the best there will ever be. You know, is a great phrase. Do you know where it's from? No. It's from, uh, it? I think it's like a Paul Newman film called The Natural. He stole it from that. Oh, he did? Mm-hmm. Great phrase. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be so bad if Brett didn't believe that. He seriously believes he's the greatest wrestler ever. That takes in a lot of mileage. Takes in a lot of generations, too. And, of course, when you say, if you would just ask a fan, who is the greatest? Well, you know, the greatest is who entertains you the most, or who was the best doing over-the-top rope, topas, topes, topes, or whatever they called them, or who could throw the best drop kick, or who had the best ring entrance. or That takes in a lot of territory. But Or who drew the most money. But, and, but that's just opinion. But I'm not blaming anybody who thinks they're the best that ever was because in this business is an egotistical business anyway. And unless you believe that you're the best at what you do and just doing one thing, then you shouldn't even be in the ring. You got to have that ego to actually get in the ring and compete. So, but I can say that I never had an ego about me at all, ever. We, we all know who the best wrestler of all time is though. Davy Boy Smith, the British Bulldog. I would have said George Goulas. Oh. Uh, okay. Who, who did you? Davy Boy, who, come on, who, he's my local hero. I mean, how could he not be the best ever to me? So is that your hero? 
Uh, probably he was, he was always my favourite growing up was Davy Boy, then Brett, then Savage. Yeah. And then when I started getting back into wrestling, 98, Kane. I loved Kane. Really? Yeah, loved him. Good guy. 